too close to call. Nearly 24 hours after the polls closed, we're still waiting to learn who will sit on several seats on Virginia Beach City Council. There's a top story at six. Thanks for joining us. I'm Janet Roach. And I'm David Allen. Right now, three City Council seats are up in the air, and we could wait some time for the answers. Incumbent John Moss is fighting for his at-large seat against D. Oliver. Moss is ahead by about 360 votes. In the Bayside District, incumbent Lewis Jones leads challenger Brad Martin by about 500 votes. And another challenger here, David Nygaard, is about 150 votes ahead of Councilman John Earn in the Beach District. 13 News Now reporter Allie Weatherton is live in the newsroom tonight with what we know so far. Well, David, we know these are extremely tight races, and I talked to one candidate who believes he already won, but it's not over just yet. Right now, you believe that you won. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. David Nygaard is confident he's taking over the Beach District, but Virginia Beach Director of Elections Donna Patterson says not so fast. I just say the results are unofficial is what I say to everyone. Right now, each vote counted could change the outcome on who makes it on Virginia Beach City Council. Today, the Electoral Board is reviewing provisional ballots. Doing the research for the provisional ballots, we have close to 900. Patterson says she didn't expect these races to be this tight. I haven't seen anything this close in a while to you. E or ever. John Moss and D. Oliver are only 362 votes apart. Brad Martin and Lewis Jones are also neck and neck for the Bayside seat. And there are only 156 votes separating John Earn and David Nygaard for the Beach District. It's pretty rare to have citywide elections that are decided on such a slim margin of just a few hundred votes. And Regents Assistant Government Professor Nicholas Higgins says he believes it's tight because so many people favor both candidates with opposite issues they want to focus on. He says now it's just a waiting game. And Patterson says the deadline to get all the results to the state is by Tuesday. She says right now they don't know if there will be any recounts. In the newsroom, Allie Weatherton, 13 News Now.